While there are many factors why people end up homeless, whether it's due to illness, disability, unemployment, or abuse, the major issue facing Nova Scotians today is affordable housing. Nova Scotia has been experiencing a meteoric rise in rental and purchase costs for housing, and its citizens just cannot handle it. While it may be easy for Western Canadians or foreign buyers to move to Nova Scotia due to our cost of living, it is not the same for Nova Scotia. This is where we must take action to lower the cost of living for all Nova Scotians and install safety nets for those who are falling behind. While we already have tenancy boards and protections in place, they are lackluster and leave too much power in the hands of property owners and investors. Housing should not be treated as an asset or an investment, but rather as a necessity for all people. Without first meeting this basic need, our people are not able to excel in their communities and beyond. That's why I propose that the government of Nova Scotia institute rental cost protections and housing price protections through the establishment of a provincial regulating body that would evaluate, review, and adjudicate all rental pricing schemes in the province as well as property price increases. Here is a general overview of what that body would do. Now this is a rough concept, but it reflects a need for the province to enact more control over the pricing of homes in Nova Scotia and protect people first over profits. Everyone deserves the privacy and warmth of their own home. Our current ideals around home ownership and land leasing is unsustainable and goes against the fundamental pillars of a social society like Canada. We must ensure that every person has a place to stay and be safe. And it sounds silly, it sounds naive, but it really is this simple. To end homelessness, you must simply give everyone a home.